Hi guys. Today we're going to solve a useful problem. Uh, this problem may arise when you're you know, writing a calculus exam. Your professor may ask you somewhere within a problem to find the integration of ln x. And you, know, you can memorize the answer, that's fine. But if you forget, it's always good to know where the derivation came from. And that's what we're going to do today. And it's, it's actually fairly simple. It's an integration by parts, as we have in the top. So let's start by writing the formula for integration by parts just so we have it readily available to us. Okay. And that's the integration by parts formula. Okay, so what we learned in previous videos is that when we're integrating by parts, ln x is always u. We've talked about that before. So we're going to sign ln x to u. Okay, now we're going to differentiate u with respect to x. And the derivative of ln x is 1 over x and dx, and dx, because we're implicitly differentiating. Okay, so now, by default, the other half of the, or the product of what ln x is being multiplied by is our dv, and that's just dx here, because there's no other variable in the equation. And the integration of dx is simply x. Simple enough. All right, so next step, we're going to go ahead and plug these variables into our formula. So let's move over here. And we have u, which is ln x, right? We have v, which is x, minus integration of v, which is x, and du, which is 1 over x dx, OK? Simple enough. Now, what can we do here? We can maybe move the x to the left for simplicity's sake. We'll start with that. And as we can see over here, these values are going to cancel. So we're left with integration of negative dx. OK, moving on. This is, done. this is done. We don't have anything to do with that anymore. And the integration of dx, as we know, is just simply x. And there we have it. So the integration of ln x dx is x ln x minus x. 